you guys. So can you confirm as a White House official that the president is indeed taking hydroxychloroquine? Yes, I can absolutely confirm that. Why was this statement last night so vague? It said that they discussed it. It makes no mention of azithromycin or zinc. Well, the president said himself he's taking it. That's a, a given fact. He said it. The purpose of this letter was to show that Dr. Conley agreed with the analysis that uh, the benefits outweighed the risk. Um, the president should be taken at his word, and the purpose of this letter was to show just that as it did, the rationale behind but it. Taylor, just to follow up on that, the letter seems very carefully written, and a lot of people said it doesn't explicitly say that he's prescribing. Is there a reason? Why, the reason the reason is the president of the United States said it, and if it were any other president of the United States, the media would take him at his word. The purpose of this letter was to give a medical rationale for the decision that the president announced uh, was made in consultation with his is doctor. Is there any concern about mixed messaging? The FDA has said this drug shouldn't be used to be included in less in a hospital setting. Is the president sending mixed messages? Look, I spoke with Dr. Hahn this morning, um, and what Dr. Hahn said to me is this is a drug that has been approved for three other uses. Um, he said he's prescribed it to his patients in the past. Uh, he told me that um, it has a good safety profile, but should always be prescribed in the context of a doctor prescribing it uh, to their patients. So that is ultimately how the decision should be made. It's ultimately how President Trump made his decision. Um, but I think there's some misreporting out there um, and some neglect of the fact that tens of millions of people across the world have taken this drug for other purposes and done so safely. Is the president's heart being monitored while he's taking this? That's one of the other potential recommendations as well. I have no other information about the president's medical decisions, but I have to get to my morning meeting. WHO, thank you so much, you guys. WHO, so I'll just say I have no no information further about the WHO, but that letter um, really outlined strongly the president's point of view, um, namely on January 21st, I believe it was, um, that you had Xi Jinping, who was pressuring the WHO um, and saying, you know, you should not declare this an emergency. And then the very next day, you had the WHO um, saying, in fact, that this was not a, an issue, a public um, health emergency situation. So uh, issues like that, where there's a very clear China bias at play, should be looked at um, very carefully and is being looked at very carefully as we make our decision further. Really quick question. Thank so you very much. Cloud Corporation. Sure. There, there's a report that the, that the New York Times reported last night that the Cloud Corporation received $350 million uh, to produce uh, COVID-related medicines that are typically made in India and China. I was wondering if you could confirm that news. I haven't even seen that story yet, but I'll take a look, Finn. Sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you.